Uh, anyway, so another big workspace, another big uh, transformer we've added is the geometry validator. Um, and basically that's sort of a combination of a whole bunch of different transformers that we had before and also a few more extra tests that we threw in there plus we made things repairable which we we couldn't do before so maybe if you've taken the FME training course before you'll be familiar with this particular workspace where we we take all of those parcels I was reading before and we build areas out of them and we validate it to see what it looks like and if I run this translation now Basically, we get this, and, and hopefully you can see that there are two um, polygons there that have problems with them. So the geometry validators found those problems. Wow. Uh, if I zoom into this, you'll see, obviously, what the problem is there. It's It's got a very horrific duplicate uh, point. The nice thing with the inspector, again, is that uh, we can see this information, and it's actually the transformers actually told us where, what the problem is and where it is so it says it's a self intersection it's, it's that coordinate uh, is it failed the OGC simple and OGC valid uh, tests that we it's an OGC did. failure all around yes so we've got two problems there the other two problems which are not quite as obvious are unused lines from the uh, area builder uh, of which we've got one down here and if we zoom in close enough, I think you can see one end or the other. It's um, sorry, I zoomed in a bit too far. Let me try that again. One end or the oh, other. Yeah. There we go. We've got a bit of a gap in that data, so that's another problem we we can uh, clean up. So what I'm going to do, just go back into the workspace. Um, two ways I'm going to fix that. One with the area builder. The area builder's actually got a snapping option built in now so you don't need to use a snapper separately so I'm going to say snap the endpoints to anything within 1.1 feet which I know is going to work uh, for this data so that's one thing we can do to clean that up the other thing we can do with those other problems is we can go into the geometry validator and say attempt to repair yes and it'll tell us which uh, issues are repairable so I think what was the problem it came up with it said self intersections in 2D so self intersections in 2D is it repairable? Yes, it is. Are there any parameters? No, there aren't. So um, we we, aren't, we can't set any parameters. But we can say repair it and click OK. And uh, now if I run that, we should find that everything is all hunky dory. And it's a different color still, but that's because it came out of the fixed port, or it should have done repaired port. Now, I've got to say it doesn't look repaired, but it might just be that it deleted. Uh, one of the duplicate points. Um, uh, so it still says it's self intersecting, which, um, let's see, this one shouldn't be for sure. So that one got totally fixed, I believe. Oh, even if it says in the attribute, it probably just means it repaired it. It doesn't mean it didn't repair it, it just means it, um, um, it, it's still reporting on it. And the other one down here, we snapped with the, uh, the snapper in the area builder. So that's fixed as well. So those are just two um, clean up things we've got. Anything else, Dale, to add about the... So some, some of the people have asked, can we do 3D validation repair? And the answer is yes. So if you have city GML files and you want to make sure that they do have 3D objects that are proper, it does work. Yes, there's, uh, that's most of the uh, additional stuff that's been added, like the non-plane surfaces and stuff like that. That's all... Um, in our, in our experience, almost all the city GML files need a healthy dose of validation. Yes.